Hi guys and welcome in the first video of this live trading with interactive broker playlist. The goal of this playlist is to show you as much thing I can on interactive brokers as quick as possible. So the main goal of this video is to explain you which platform we need to download, which API we will use, which Python library and so on. So to set up all the environment we will need for the next videos. So if you are into this video, I assume that you have already an interactive brokers account or I invite you to create a demo account using the free trial there. Then the next thing you need to do is to follow the link into the description to download the TWS platform from Interactive Broker. It is with this platform that we will use our API because the Interactive Broker system using the TWS API is similar to the one that we use using MetaTrader 5. It means that we need the platform opened in the backend and we will take the control of this platform using Python. So you download the right version, then you open it and you will arrive on this page. Then you choose paper trading. If you have already a live trading account, you will put the same username and password than your live trading account and it will connect you to your associated paper trading account to the live trading account you put there. And then you will arrive on this page. You should already know that. Here you have the different symbol, there your portfolio. Here we will have the summary of all the orders we have and all the trades we have placed today. And here it's the news. Then the only thing we need to do for the next videos is to go on config setting and we click there on lock and exit and we will switch from auto log off to auto restate. Because when you will put your trading in live trading, you don't want to have your interactive broker platform closed every day. You want that each day it will restart your interactive broker to put the new update. And that's all we need to do for the interactive broker platform. Now we can take the control of this platform using Python. But how can we do that? To do so, we'll use a Python library called IB in SIG. It is not the official library of interactive brokers, but it is based on the official library in order to make our life much easier. And generally, when you will find some code to live trade on interactive brokers, it will use this library. So I will put the link to the documentation too into the description. And here you can have several things, some notebook to have some example if you want, the basic things if you want some contract details and of course you can have also the whole documentation of this API. And the advantage is that it's pretty easy to install this library. If I go into my notebook, you just have to do pip install IB InSync and you can do the same thing into your terminal. So now I have installed this library into my Python environment. Now I can import all the functions from this library. And here, as we are into a notebook, we need absolutely to put this line of code because without that, we will have a problem to connect us to the interactive trading platform. But if you are into a classic Python file, you will not have to put these two lines of code. And to connect us to the TWS platform, it's pretty easy. We'll just use the connect function like that. What is very important, by the way, is that if you are into live trading, you will put 7496. But as here we are into a demo account, we'll put 7497. And here you need to put the client ID. What you need absolutely to understand is that here I'm able to create a link between this Python file and the platform, as we can see there. But if I'm trying to do the same, as we already have a connection with this client ID, we'll have an error. So it's very, very important. You need to disconnect you before trying to connect you again with the same client ID. So I restarted my kernel and now I'm connected. So to verify now if we have correctly linked our Python file to our interactive brokers account, we'll just run some functions. The first one is the account summary to have some information about the liquidity you have and so on. And if you want to extract one information, it can be a bit annoying because as we can see there, it's not like a dictionary, a tuple or something like that. You need to use this structure. For example, if I want my total cash value, now I can have it easily using this small code there. So as we can see, we have correctly implemented what we wanted. Now, just before closing this video, I want to show you two important functions. 
First, the qualify contract function to verify if the contract we put there is available or no. So here, as we can see, it's the case because we have the whole description of this contract. And here we can extract to some information about this contract. For example, there I can have the opening hours, the closing hours. I can have all the different all the types I can take on this asset. I can have a lot of different information. Now, the last thing we need to do is to close the bound between the IB platform, the TWS platform and our Python file. So for now, it's not very exciting because we didn't do a lot of things. We have extracted some information and so on, but not something really interesting. But no worries. In the next video, I will show you how to play some threads using this library directly into your TWS platform. So I hope you like this video. If you have any question, really feel free to ask them into the comments and I will gladly answer you. And see you soon in the next video.